In lab 7, you have to keep track of the number of cars going in and out of each parking level. You have a two-level parking garage. And as you can see in this little block diagram here that cars coming into level 1, cars leaving level 1, and then you have cars entering level 2 and leaving uh, level 2. But one of the things that you'll notice is that in between level 1 and level 2, a car entering level 2 is also leaving level 1. You have to do the housekeeping that says when a car has entered level 2, you also go back and remove it from level 1. And the same thing is that when you have the uh, sensor that says a car is leaving level 2, you go back and you do the housekeeping to add another one into level 1. And by doing this, you can keep track of both levels, and if you were to go and add this to add multiple levels, you can expand it likewise. But for right now, we're doing two levels, and it's one of the things you need to keep track of. If you ignore the fact that a car entering level 2 came from level 1, you'll never remove the proper number of cars from level 1. And you may end up with 20 cars on level 1, 20 cars on level 2, when you really only have 20 cars in the structure. Okay, so let's go take a look and see how we did this uh, in programming and go on from there. We have the circuit set up here in the program and what I have up here, uh, for those of you watching this, you get the little hints. We talked about this in the last video about the one-shot control for our inputs and I have them set up here in rungs 2, 3, 4, and 5. And what we'll be doing there is we take our switches from our cars, the input switches, or the sensors, if you will, of the cars coming in or out of a level, and then we run them over here through these one-shot coils. We use these one-shot coils everywhere we need later on in the program. What we're going to do in this program is I'm showing you how to add and subtract from level two. Up here in rung number one, I've initialized the up counter to have uh, <clears throat> 15 cars in level 1, no cars in level 2. We could ignore the down counter for right now since we're only working really with level 2 and uh, show you how to do that. So we move up here a little bit and you can see the we have set up for level 1 car in, level 2 car in. You've got uh, level one car out and level two car out. In the previous diagram, we talked about an input to level two had to come from level one. So as we add a, add a car into level two, we have to take it away from level one. And the same thing that when a car leaves level two, we have to subtract it from level two and add it into level one. Now when you're doing this, you want to add the, requ the necessary logic to prevent these counters from going into negative, because negative cars don't make any sense. But even if our maximum, say in the specs you have there a maximum of 20 cars per level, we can put more than 20 cars per level so you can let the counters run above the maximum. You just want to stop them from going negative, because that's not a... Uh, not a real number here in this case. Okay, now if I come up here to to level two car in, I'm going to toggle this, and right now you see we have zero cars in level two, and we have 15 cars in level one. So I will toggle that. We've got a car sensor. We did our one shot scan, and we now have one car in level two, 14 in level one. Bring a couple more cars in here and you can see now we're up to 15 and 10. All right, now we're going to take some cars out. Come over here, I'm going to toggle that operation. Okay, and you can see we're down two cars in there, one car in, 14 back into level one, and now we're back to zero cars, 
there in level 2 and 15 in level 1. You take this and work with it. Don't forget to work with the uh, counters properly for level 1. Remember we're keeping track of the level 1 using the up counter and the down counter and then you're required to keep track of the count in level 2 using the uh, add and subtract function.